Hello, Gemini, getting ready to do your reading. All right, so let's see what is going on for you, Gemini. I'm going to ask Spirit for messages, what's going on behind the scenes. All right, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Someone's going to have a great holiday. I see someone having a really good time going out and partying, um, like just saying screw everything. I don't know why I'm seeing that. Maybe you've had a really tough year. This may be around the New Year's or something. Having a really good time with friends, maybe spending some extra money, just having fun. That'd be good. Okay, what does Gemini need to know? What is the overall energy? Emperor's overall energy. This definitely could be you or someone you're dealing with. Nine of Wands, Ace of Wands, hmm, Five of Swords. I saw that Five of Swords. Wheel of Fortune under the deck. I don't know. There's a Queen of Coin under here back there. I don't know if that's important. Okay, so some of you could be dealing with an Aries. Okay, Three of Cups again, the Six of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. When I say again, I saw that when I split the deck, and I just feel like some of you are dealing with a situation, a person, probably a situationship, or maybe, you know, it could be work, but you're just tired of it, and I feel like you just want to go blow some steam off. Having a good time, because you're just kind of tired of this situation with this person. This could be someone who's very, um, like, they don't budge. They could be stubborn, this, this emperor energy, something like that. Or it could even be you standing your ground. It's kind of what I'm getting. Justice, the full energy, and the three of swords. Okay, you may be breaking up with someone, or you broke up. Nine of swords is under this deck. Someone may be chasing you if you break up. Um, also, I feel like this full energy is someone acting like they don't care what you do, but they do care. I don't think someone wants to see you out with other people, other guys, other girls, whatever, having a good time without them. I think it bothers them. I think this emperor, maybe maybe this person's not showing it. That's why they're coming as an emperor. Um, they actually, if you, if you are dealing with someone and you decide to go out and party or something like that coming up here, they may, you know, say something, not like it, try to um, track you down, call you, whatever. Um, that's not really love because you know what when you have like nine of wands and the ace of wands usually that's ten wands to me I mean, well it is ten wands um but you know what i'm saying it's like the ten of wands it's like uh-oh when i see stuff like this so let me see what is going on gemini hoping the moon and the hermit someone was hoping to maybe ghost you yeah someone's playing games gemini but i don't think you care or you're over it or you're just like whatever someone's like acting mysterious maybe with the moon or ghosting or acting like this person's not over you. So if I had to say one thing about this person, they're not over you. They may act like they don't care and they're over you, but they're still not. Um, you may be over them, but this person is just, they like the game or they like the drama or Ace of Wands. They're, they're definitely attracted to you. Two of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the King of Coin. This may be an earth sign. That was my dog's ears. She was laying on the floor. Okay, I don't know what that's about. Let me see. There you are. This could be an earth sign. Okay, I have to say, this could be the person you're dealing with, but this may be someone you meet out. Ace of Wands, I feel like, because I, I saw you, and I was going to say, but I didn't. You may meet someone, like the love of your life, or some of you, coming up here in the next four weeks, like the holidays, New Year. Uh, or you just may, some of you are going to meet someone who is just maybe a fling, or something fun, or something like that, doesn't really go anywhere. But um, I did see that, Ace of Wands, I'm not surprised. It's going to start out as something passionate. I saw the Knight of Cups, is what told me. Um, it could be love. Now, this is showing showing me, Gemini, you may meet someone or take a different path when you go out with friends. There will be an attraction. It may not be love initially, but there will be an attraction to this person. They may, like, drop a lot of money on drinks or food or something while you guys are out. Um, this person doesn't like that you're doing this. I don't, you know, I don't know if you care or it matters, but that's showing in the card, in the cards. Okay, Five of Swords. I was going to say, someone has a lot of games. They have too much time on their hands to play too many games. I mean, I, the, I mean that's what I'm seeing about this whole reading. I feel like you just want to have a good time. You want to enjoy, your, enjoy yourself and not no drama. You don't drama. This person is too busy trying to figure out how to get you back without letting you know they want you back or, you know, and all that. But I'm seeing you, Ace of Cups. I'm sorry, Eight of Cups to the Ace of Wands. Maybe it is an Ace of Cups but wanting to walk away. I'm just getting you're tired of dealing with this situation or person. Excuse me. What is the Three of Swords here? Listening to their intuition or you are. That's you. Someone who's trying to get justice or get back at you. Um, again, acting like they really don't care. Everything's great. 
Um, they, they're, they're actually heartbroken or sad that you're not paying attention to them. This could definitely be a codependent type of situation if you're still really involved in this or a runner chaser environment is what I'm seeing. Because Knight of Swords is a lot of times a chaser. So this person is going to chase you. They act like they're not going to do anything, but they will. Yep, they could be longing for you. This person may just feed off that kind of drama, that kind of like, you know, longing and sadness and, oh, getting back together and I don't know. But this person is not being honest or real with you. Yeah, look at this person is feeling way down. They're looking at your picture. They're thinking about you. Um, they're trying to figure out what to do next. All the while, I think you're having a good time, or at least you should be Gemini. It's showing me you should be having a good time out with somebody new. While this person is behind the scenes doing all this trying to I don't see them trying to make you jealous though I just see them not communicating with you and just like longing for you not really showing how they how they feel they think they tiptoed away they think they won the situation with five of swords actually I think it's you that won but it's like they think they have a um, wish fulfilled with you but they don't I want to clarify that what is that what are they, what are they doing there just to be nosy what are they doing because this player thinks that they're getting away with something but it's like you just don't care eight of cups so gemini yeah you guys just walking on don't have time for this fighting five of wands blocking death oh wow did they like you guys have an argument and did they block you or you block them and then that's, this is over and they wanted you to come maybe running after them yeah the world like this is the end because i'm clarifying the nine of cups here like what is this wish fulfilled with the seven of swords i feel like it's them maybe they told you this oh it's over and you're like well good i'm moving on i'm done Tired of the games is what I'm getting here. Nine of Wands, please. Let me clarify this before. I pull. Yep. This person is not taking action. They're spying. They're snooping. They're stalking you. Seven of Swords. They're acting like they don't care. They care. Wow. I mean, these cards are clear as day. Who is this person down here you're talking to? Who is this King of Coin? Who is this King of Coin? You're going to meet someone and it could be a fling, it could be a hookup, it could be something long or short. This person is spying on you, so I don't know if they do tarot, if they have someone who reads for them, if they just spy on you in person or something or online, you have pictures, but they don't want to see you hooking up with anybody else. So this person is jealous too. And a lot of times the Page of Swords is my jealous card, because why, why, why are they snooping? Because they're jealous, they're insecure, they're wanting to know what you do. So, but you, you are going to be going out with this person, it looks like. And I don't know where it's going to go. What's this three of coins energy? This is probably just out. What's this three of coins? Ten of cups, five of swords, ace of wands. And maybe a friend of the family. Maybe if you go home and visit family, you might go out with friends or something and meet this person. There are possibility, like I said, for someone, this might be the love of your life. The ten of cups is here. Or you think they are. I don't know. Um, but it's starting out as more like a passion. So it's kind of like, again, like you get the last laugh at the Five of Swords. Like you're meeting somebody new. You don't have time for games is what I'm getting. Um, Gemini, let me see. Should I pull from a different deck? Let me do my closing deck for you guys. Well, actually, let me do this deck really quick for you and see what it wants to tell us. Yep, I knew it. The Nine of Swords is the chaser. It says, chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. Also, heart with a key. It says, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart. So you might meet someone new. Oh, you hold the key to this person's heart, but they're wearing a mask. Yeah, that's the emperor energy. Not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, and gaslight. And one more, please. Wedding rings. Engagement ring. So some of you, you could meet someone shortly, maybe get engaged, possibly married. Uh, maybe this person, this past person, this emperor wants to marry you. They may talk about getting engaged down the way, lightning. Because if they see you as somebody else, maybe they want a commitment now. Maybe if they haven't before, they may talk about getting committed with you. Okay. Hang on. The devil and the empress, hang on, are they facing the wrong way? I'm going to put them like this, okay. I think there's, oh, I think they're all different ways. I did something and messed them up. All right, I can't use this deck then. That is out of control. What does Gemini need to know spirit in closing for this reading? Gemini need to know 
in closing. Seven of Wands. You might push this person back. Illusion, moon, them pushing you away, longing for you. Yeah, no, this person, even though they're pushing you away, um, could be a Pisces, but there's an illusion here because actually underneath it all, they look at the past. I think they're waiting for you. I think they're longing for you, page of coin. Under the deck, there is a king of coin though. So there is definitely see somebody new around the next corner. I think you've had it with this past person. I think you're tired of putting an effort. Yeah, you're tired, look at that, tired of the games. Them promising you things are gonna be good and they're not, but yeah, there's somebody new coming in here. So, all right, Gemini, I'm gonna leave it there. Have a great week.